Jones with at Jacksonville State for a long time and had one of the best defenses in the FCS has come here and wants to do the same thing for this afternoon. Finley, quick strike. And over the middle to Myers. Carrying defenders with him. And NC State sets up at the 42. A little skinny post route there. Finley plenty of time. And then again, those wonderful wide receivers. NC State 77 of 155. Third down conversions. Already converted one. Maybe two. Looks like number two. Jacoby Myers. Try to get him to the outside, I should say, to against uh, Holton. And you just try to get to the outside and try to get enough for the first down. Here's the bruising senior Gillespie. Still on his feet, down to the 13. Reggie Gillespie, watch this. 5'11", 235 pounds, the human cannonball, bowling ball, fire hydrant. Mission was to keep the best talent in the state. On third and two, and that defense does hold. Gillespie stopped. Very impressive drive would be a huge thing for the Pirates. Chris Dunn, the freshman on, is now made 11 straight field goals. No problems. Third and seven. The sophomore from Raleigh. Over the middle. And a nice catch. It's Trevon Brown for the first down. I'm standing in the pocket by here and feels a little pressure, steps up, finds one of the top receivers in the country. A bunch at the top of your screen. And Herring looks that way. An odd spiral, incomplete fourth down. ACC selection. On first and ten from the 20. Finley has all day to scan. Catch is made. Big pickup on first down. Norman starts to the top. You're going to see him 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Plenty of time to go. Get to the quarterback. And yeah, they've had some issues in the secondary. Reggie Gillespie bursting into the secondary. Another first down. <laughs> Sets up third and two. Bodine the tailback. And he makes the catch. Inside the red zone. Play call. Watch the reverse action by Finley. Freezes the linebackers. Bodine sneaks out of the backfield. A nice pickup on the play. They've really done a lot of renovations to Reynolds Coliseum. And I think it's going to be named Reynolds Coliseum at Jim Valvano Court. So uh, that's a special thing coming up in the Wolfpack world. On third and 11, Finley. Harmon! Touchdown! Road. Only one person can get this this route, and that's going to be Harmon. And he reaches out, beats the defender. Finley, we've said it all afternoon, plenty of time. Second and ten for the sophomore for right here in Raleigh. Great touch on the pass to Trevon Brown. Nicely thrown ball that time by Reed here into Brown. For 26 yards. Crowded backfield, Hassan Howe. And he has a first down run. Stephen Griffin, the injured Wolfpack on the play. There's that block right there by, by Taz Deans. ECU declined the first. And here's the extra play, third and five. Eric airs it down the sideline. That's intercepted. Nick McLeod. Almost a 50-yard return for the junior from South Carolina. Steps up, throws this ball into coverage there. Good job defensively by McLeod to get just a little bit of contact with Brown. The ball goes in there and he does the rest. Nice job of blocking. No one blocks in the back. 49 yards later, NC State, the defense stepping up once again and making a play. Drive that ends in disaster. Can the defense rise? Finley, another catch for Jacoby Myers.
Finley on second and three. Finds Myers again. And another first down. Empty backfield. Down the sideline. And Myers again. Man coverage across the board. Myers matched up against Robinson. Just... Of Finley's completions to Myers or Harmon. What else is new? Gillespie, the safety can't bring him down in the first try. He's in again. Line of scrimmage, they blow off, get an inside block there, and boom, boom, bam. Oh, with hearing. Pass caught, but short. Chance at a return for Thomas. Running Dave Doran's offense. In his final game at Carter Finley Stadium. On oh, the rollout, it's Myers again. Good block from Harmon. Another big play for the Wolfpack. The reverse action freezes the defense here. Everybody's flowing one way. He's able to go the other way. A nice block downfield by Harmon. Back to the bruising tailback. And nice job by the Pirates. Slowing him for no game. Bounce back from that loss. A very good Cincinnati Bearcats team. Myers reaching. They say touchdown. Three wide. Get it to your outstanding receiver, Myers. Breaks away from a tackle, stretches out. Once the ball breaks the plane, it's a touchdown. So we're going to give this six to Myers. <laughs> it is rare to have two 1,000-yard receivers on the same team. NC State does. Dismissal as the head coach on Thursday. It's a pass. Scott drops it. And that may have been perhaps behind the line. Very selfish of camp, Ryan camp. Finley. Yeah, I mean, like, he <laughs> said no work. This Brady Bodine had a catch out of the backfield earlier. David Blackwell, we mentioned earlier, he identified Harvey and said, we need you. Bayer Thomas, a big play, another. At NC State, his first game as a walk had nine catches and a touchdown. Gillespie. Reggie Gillespie. To the 32. 29 through the air, 17 here. This offensive line averages about 315 pounds per man, and they just do a great job. He's one of the linemen, and he just finds a hole and picks it, and 10, 12 yards later, he's moving. Reggie Gillespie may hit 1,000 yards today, perhaps. Another strong surge. Devin Sutton stopped him behind the line. That was Thomas in motion. Finley gets hit for the first time today, and it's a sack. First time he's hit the ground this afternoon. Good job in coverage on the secondary, and not able to get away. Jalen Price, I think along with Futrell, today will be a great J. They'll just got to put the pieces in mind for 2019. Third down and four for Herring. Good pocket. Pass dropped again. And again, has a lot of the tools. He's got some size, he's got strength, a very good head on his shoulders. Look at that, gets rid of the football, very accurate on his throws. He's had a lot of success with his formation, trips left. The pass, a little too far, looking for a Messi again. Six best in the AAC as far as penalties. Been a pretty disciplined team. Here's the trip. Myers has nowhere to go. Trying to get Myers to make the pass to Finley and keep your eye on, on Bivens. Comes out there and reads that and makes a good play, a solid play, pack special. Boy, what Doug Peterson and Nick Foles have done for offenses. This one is picked off. Right into Daniel Charles's hands.
some reason to be excited. When you take a look for the end zone, Finley does really does the city. I'm sure if the receiver may have been. Herring, 8 of 17 through the air. Needs to convert. A rifle over the middle. That was Taj Deans. The ball is loose. Previously thought he made a catch. Yeah, really. Here we go, first to 10. And yeah, this play, uh, all sorts of issues. Blown up in the backfield. Darian Roseboro was there to lead the charge. Standing defensive lineman for North Carolina State. Roseboro gets upfield, gets a great push. Now out there with Holton Ehlers, sideline with an knee injury. Needs something on third down. Wrangled down. Deontay Holden. Holden gets off the ball quickly. Just grabs him, says, come here. I'm bringing you down. That's my fourth sack of the season. And the NC State defense has the turnover on him, and he comes back, gets their first sack of the afternoon, and they raise their level in the field, and really good special teams. And, and, and when you've got all three down the line, you've got a chance to win a lot of football games. A strike over the middle to Kelvin Harmon. Good luck, Pittsburgh, later tonight, to your point. The ACC title game in Charlotte. Mezzi is able to pick up a couple more on the play. Two timeouts to play with as well. Ball at midfield. Amezzi sidesteps his man. Out of bounds at about the 26. 11 seconds plus the two timeouts. Bodine the tailback. Another catch. And down to the 11. A freshman from Lexington, North Carolina. He has just tied the single season field goal mark. He now has 20 made this season. Just one third down conversion for ECU today. Pressure. Fourth down. He leads the team and catches. Gillespie waiting for the hole to open up. Another first down run. But watch 66 Fed Johnson right there with a kick out block. And it just makes it easy. He's got a head of steam going. You're not going to bring him down like that. I ain't jumping this way. Eight yards to go. A rare drop. If he can make that explosive play and get this drive stalled, keep me going, right? I should say. Top of nope. your screen. Nowhere to go. 10-yard loss, a sack. Watch glass, a little delayed blitz right there. No one from East Carolina is able to. Sharp kid, very smart. Football all the time, his preparation paramount. And he's got C.J. Riley for another decent pickup. In the ball game, anticipate maybe seeing him after this drive or definitely early fourth quarter. But Finley's got total control of the game. Strong push up front up against his career high in yards as well. Finley with great time again. Catch number 11 for 11. I was totally zoned in on Myers. As preparation, it speaks for itself. Incomplete over the middle on fourth down. Finley looking that way. Steps up. Thomas. Touchdown. to thread the needle and throw it in a tight window. He steps back, Razor. On their third down situations again. What are we, third down and eight? Just three first downs for ECU. And another interception, Jarius Moorhead. It's the second pick by this NC State defense. The pressure. Fitty just kind of throws this ball in his back foot, just launches it. And, and you would have thought that was, I, I think those five touchdowns of the game winner against North Carolina is going to be something that they're going to talk a lot about. And he's got another today. Yeah. Into the end zone for a second time. Figure out a three or four yard run. Great blocking at the point of attack. You lead with a tight end. You've got tackles outside doing what they do. And then you've got the big man, Gillespie. All right, so we saw Kingsley Effetti the last series for ECU. This is Caden Norman, the true freshman. 
And not a lot of running room at all. Glad you asked about the Peach Bowl. Caden Norman, the redshirt freshman from Clayton, North Carolina. Boy, this NC State defense suffocating today. They lost a two, and no disrespect when I say this. Again. They've had great recruiting classes the last two years. Ryan Finley still in at quarterback. Reggie Gillespie. There he goes again. He's still in, too. Again in the ACC. 22 yards. At 118 going in there. Give him a few more. Four wideouts on a third down. Myers a catch short of the first. Was that his 13th, 14th catch that of, that of Myers? Field goal good. Good. 13 straight field goals converted by Chris Dunn. That's how respected he is. Wh whoever gets this job. Ball is out. It can be picked up. Oh, down to the one. Right now ruled to be NC State football. Brock Miller, North Carolina, picked up the rolling pig. Get your hands in there. It's a nice job there by Parham. Stripped the ball away from Howe, and then watch Miller just get there, and he's dead. One of these Carolina. They got to get find a way to get it back. How about the big fella plunging in? Bradbury. Last room. You just got you a touchdown. <laughs> Everything you just named. <laughs> Trenton Gill boots it away. Wow. Love for the offensive lineman. Has East Carolina crossed a 50? Love me some Coach Logan. And he, he, he had a high-powered offense. Defense was aggressive, special teams, and, and, and they were building something those days, too. Back in the day, but, uh, wow, a very, very impressive young man. Did you say impressive? Reggie Gillespie! Reggie Gillespie, now over 200 yards! Last two games of the season, 86 yard run. Everybody got their block, hat on a hat, and let the big guy roll, rumbling, not stumbling. That you remember the last time you carried the football it was an 86 yard run. By the way, this is Woody Cornwell. Woody Cornwell! Things will get better for East Carolina. I, 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 you know, knowing the people that I know, but today is not going to be that day. I could not get that done. Look, the expectations were high for NC State, that's for sure. And there was a reason behind it. Now, that win streak continues. NC State rolling ECU. Matthew McKay, he's into the game, and his handoff to Demonte Rim. Clearly, the, the arm strength from then to, you know, he's looking at him as a state player. But uh, leadership characteristics, he's got them. I mean, they knocked off Notre Dame a couple of times. But, you know, let, let him be him. That's how explosive this offense and how power as far as many plays they run. Finley almost hit 4,000 yards, and he's probably going to do that in the bowl game. Oh, how about Rim? Hurdling for a couple extra. He'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. Whoop. Hurling. Hurling defenders. Times you've got to hit the bottom before you can get back to the top. You've got to hit rock bottom. And, and this may be the exclamation point to, to a bad another three and nine season. Fumble here. Yeah, Dabs put it on the ground. Be sure that we had information, had accurate information, and, and we appreciate that. And Annabelle, you know, uh, one of the best out here. Did you know. Big run for Anthony Scott. Hold on a second. 
I don't think that streak. The college football field. A big time run here. Breaks to the outside. Something we haven't been able to see much of this season, but a 53. Right back to Scott. From 46 for Jake Verity. The shutout avoided. NC State, 58 points on the final home game of the year at Carter-Finley Stadium. Good for Verity. Good for him. 